Of course, it's taken all of you in this journey of the last 23 years to do all of that. But I'm excited we had the opportunity. I'm just anxious for it to continue. Mark made his share of mistakes. Some of us that go back to the beginning were in on all of them. And it was an interesting list, both in products and marketing and judging people. He made his share. But jot this down because it's one of the best things I know to say about Mark Hughes. His list of virtues was so long, it overcame his short list of mistakes. We should all work to that. That our list of virtues is so long, it overcomes our mistakes. If you haven't made these notes before, this is a good time. When I first, 19 years ago, started traveling with Mark, I shared this little list. Here it is, number one. For the things we want for the future, first, get serious. Serious about your own commitment. Serious about your goals for the future. Serious about being the best example possible of the Herbalife opportunity and the incredible, remarkable ability to enjoy good health from Herbalife's products. Get serious about your own personal development. This would be a good time to get serious. This beginning 19 or 2003, making new commitments for the future, especially from what we've heard these last few days by everybody's presentation. Next is to get smart, learn everything you can. Here's what it takes, incredible patience to learn. Because some good ideas come in strange packages. Sometimes you read a little small book and it's got 10 good ideas. And then you read a 500 page book and it's got two or three good ideas. But you've got to read both books. You have to have the patience to go through the 500 pages. And then maybe the excitement of going through just a few pages and getting a lot of ideas. But you must read both books. You can't just read little books. Yesterday, Tom gave us the 500 pages. Which, which is Tom's style. Tom is very famous. He does his, right? Corporate stuff. But fortunately for all of you today, I'm going to give you the little book today, not, not the big book. Thank you. I do have one more thing to add to Tom's talking about the women. There's three ways to control a woman. Three ways to control a woman. And nobody's been able to figure out what those three ways are. <laughs> In America, women have access to 85% of the wealth of the country. No, they, have, they control 85% of the wealth of America and have access to the other 15%. 
But here's what's exciting. No better place for women to shine than herbal life. This is the place. So, first, get serious. Next, get smart. Learn everything you can from every source you can. Have the patience. Here's one of the advantages of Herbal Life. Multiple voices to give you all the views you need to make good decisions. Some voices that are new, just getting started, but they've had such extraordinary success, we have to have them tell their story, share ideas. Some that have been around for, since the beginning, we ask them to as share equally so that we can get the perspective of how to organize our own lives, everything from time to money to life to family to business to skills to disciplines. The corporation has to be smart learn all they possibly can to be the best support system for all of us in the world. Next, get serious, get smart. The next one was get going. No matter how smart you are, nothing much happens in terms of results until you put it into action. Just go to work. And the old ancient formula is probably the best. Six days work, one day rest. Important not to get those num numbers mixed up. <laughs> Here's why activity is so important. It finally produces the miracle of reality. The miracle of substance always comes finally when something is put into action. Yes, we need to be dreamers. Yes, we need to be architects for the future. But the architect needs the bricklayer. Make the note. The bricklayer needs the architect knowing what to build. But the architect can draw the painting and the picture, the dimensions all day long. But unless somebody is willing to lay bricks, then the entity and the building and the opportunity is never accomplished. So get going. Here's one that's important. I had a little bit to do with bringing this idea that the Kims mentioned in my introduction, and that is get better. And no matter how long you live, it's possible each day, each month, each year to get better. To get better at understanding the complexity of life, get better at handling a variety of personalities that come your way, get better at managing fear, get better at conquering worry, get better at language that works miracles and helping people see and change their lives, take advantage especially of the opportunity we present. Get better at seeing the vision for yourself so that you can enlarge what you do that takes in your family, takes in your community, your country. Get better explaining opportunity so that people can see and take advantage. Get better at giving wise advice, being first a consultant, Somebody that can trust your information as to how to get started and how to grow, and how to change, how to develop, how to build something so solid, finally you can pass it on to the second generation. Here was the next one that I've tried to work on ever since I learned it from my parents, and that is to get away, balance your life. Anything out of balance really doesn't run well, whether it's your life or your automobile or your business. Get away and partake of what's happening, the culture, the music, the dance. My parents put it this way, don't miss anything. Don't miss the game, don't miss the performance, don't miss the show. Don't miss the opportunity. Turn off the television set most of the time. 
The average American family watches television six hours a day. I asked a man one time what his television cost. He said, $450. I said, no, what does it really cost? Not to own it, but to watch it, what does it cost? I said, I estimate last year it cost you about $45,000, not to own it, but to watch it. So get away, see the play, listen to the lyrics of the song. If not for you, the winter would hold no spring, couldn't hear a robin sing. I just wouldn't have a clue if not for you.